Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my August beauty favorites. This is my second video of the night. I did create this makeup look using affordable products. A lot of the products that I am going to talk about in my favorites I'm not actually wearing unfortunately but I did create this makeup look so be on the lookout for that. So let's talk about my favorites guys. Let's start with a couple of skincare products. First I want to mention the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. It says formulated with glycolic acid and another word galactomacies I don't know <laughs> ferment to gently remove dead skin cells and promote glowing skin I was sent this product from good molecules I've been using it and I've actually tried at night to just use this and not to use my polish choice exfoliator so that I wasn't using like double exfoliating products and I was using Paula's Choice in the morning because you can use that morning and night so I'll use this at night and Paula's Choice in the morning just so that I could give this a try and I really like it this is very similar to the glycolic acid exfoliator that I have from the ordinary so either one of those will do similar things this one I think I feel a little bit more as far as my the tingling that I might feel when I use this one but it does do a very good job as you can tell today my skin looks quite smooth it does do a good job of toning and prepping my skin for the next step in my skincare and helping to get rid of those dead skin cells and tighten those pores and smooth any fine bumps that you have this is excellent and it is an affordable product you can purchase good molecules at Beautylish all of the Good Molecules products that I have tried have been excellent and this one is also excellent. This is kind of strange right here but this is from Kiehl's if I'm saying that correctly. I don't really buy a lot of products from them and this was a new product that came out in March of 2020. I'm not sure how I got this. I don't know if it was like something I got with a Sephora order that I had, but it actually comes in this bottle here, right? And it is with 10% pure vitamin C and it is for the eyes and it is an eye cream, right? And I think I had seven of these and now I'm down to two. And one pack you can actually like use for about four days and I've been using it under my eyes this is a wonderful eye cream now it does claim that in seven days our new eye serum is clinically proven to diminish the appearance of dark circles including blue and brown by 16% and I can never tell I might be able to tell more when I watch this video back with the one where I actually created this makeup look I'm, I might be able to tell more if I am seeing a difference because my dark circles seem to be genetic so I don't know if anything can really tackle them but it does feel wonderful under my eye my makeup goes on well on top of this and it really is helping like with my fine lines under my eye so this is a really good eye cream and it is again by Kiehl's I do like a good eye cream so this is really great this is Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster with squalene and it is supposed to hydrate and soften your lips and visibly firms and smooths lines I was sent this product to review and I loved it from the very first time I applied it to my lips and I like this applicator it's very cool to the touch when you apply it on your lips and it gives me the shiniest lip it is just like a really nice clear gloss but it smooths out the lines on my lips so it gives you these beautiful lips now I think when I read the directions it said to apply like a sunscreen on top of it so I don't know if you should be like using a lipstick or something that has an SPF I don't typically do that <laughs> I just don't wear this when I'm gonna be out in the Sun I just like apply it to my lips before I apply my makeup at while I'm getting ready in the morning and I reapply it sometimes when I'm at work but it is a nice 
clear gloss and I do think that it gives me very beautiful lips so it does do what it says it doesn't tingle or have any sensations it's just a nice clear smoothing gloss for your lips and it is by Paula's Choice. I'm going to try in today's video not to mention too many repeat items but I do have a few one of which is NYX the Marshmallow Primer. I sat it aside for a little bit and I went back to it this month. I love this primer. I think I've probably used half of it. I can't tell, you know, because this is opaque, I can't tell where I am. So I, I have a feeling I'm going to be using this one day and I'm going to go to use it and it's going to be empty. I used this primer today when creating this makeup look. This primer is just perfection. It feels like you're applying skincare to your face. It feels like skincare. Your skin looks so radiant and beautiful, yet if you are an oily skin person, like oily T-zone person like me, and you will apply this and think, oh, this might be an oily mess by the end of the day, and it really is not. They say that sometimes your oil production comes because your skin is not hydrated enough, and that's why it produces so much oil. So I'm not sure if that's what the secret is to this product, like it really hydrates the skin in preparation for foundation, but it is a wonderful primer. It's $17, so it's expensive for a drugstore primer, but it is worth it. It does like 10 different things. It has all of these different benefits. It is a great primer and it just gives me this beautiful radiant finish appearance when I am ready to put on my foundation I love it NYX the marshmallow primer it is worth the hype I did film a review on this primer as well and I shared all the details about it in that video if you want to check that one out two more primers that are repeats that I want to mention but I'm gonna mention them together because I've been talking about them forever this is the ordinary high adherence silicone primer it is almost on empty and I promise you guys whenever I am gonna have a long day and I'm afraid my makeup might melt off of my face this is the primer that I am reaching for this primer is amazing it's like a gel formula it's white but it's like a gel formula and it is amazing at keeping your makeup on your face it is a great primer and it is so so affordable it's from the ordinary and I will be repurchasing this when I empty it so good I should have mentioned this one too guys this is the ordinary high spreadability fluid primer and it is so like on empty as well see where it is and I have to kind of just like do this to get it out this is beautiful on the skin as well and it is not necessarily meant for more oily skin it's not like this one but when I'm here at home I keep this one here and when I'm here at home this is the primer I'm grabbing it's like this silicone feel but makeup like stays on your face this is gorgeous as well always sold out hard to get your hands on I will be repurchasing that as well both of those are very good and then especially because it's summertime and I've been outside more I like to use my unseen sunscreen by Supergoop and this is SPF 40 and it doubles as a primer and it is great for more oily t-zones more oily skin this is wonderful sunscreen and primer I haven't even looked for any additional sunscreens because this one works so well love it for foundations I have been loving this Catrice True Skin Foundation and it has hyaluronic acid and it is the hydrating foundation and this is the shade Neutral Pecan. I finally have the right shade. I also purchased this caramel shade and I ordered it online and it is too light and I filmed a review on that. I made it work for that video but it is too light. This is what I'm wearing today. I did create an affordable makeup look I wanted to refilm that video because I now have the correct shade and this is a beautiful foundation and I have been loving it so much it just gives you this gorgeous canvas and it is such a perfect shade match for me it is beautiful my skin looks smooth you cannot see wrinkles but for me it just really smoothed everything on my skin all the lines it just gives me a beautiful finish it looks like skin but it's just gorgeous I love this so this is a beautiful affordable foundation definitely love this 
concealer. I'm loving this Hydrating Camo Concealer by e.l.f. I learned of this watching a YouTuber and her viewers thought that this was like the best concealer and it is pretty doggone good. I was influenced to purchase this. It is the concealer that I have on today. It is gorgeous. It is definitely a hydrating concealer. Like it's not tacky or sticky, but it's not completely matte, but it just goes on beautifully. And I love this color actually. It looks light here. It goes on sort of peachy, like a warm peachy color. This is, I think medium beige is the shade that I use. And I think it might've been $6, but it's quite affordable. It has a really lovely, you know, nice fat <laughs> doe foot applicator. It's not too thick. It gives really good coverage. It doesn't accent my fine lines. It is wonderful. And I've really been wearing this a lot ever since I purchased it. Probably the last couple of weeks of August is when I wore this. And I just kept like looking in the mirror going, wow, I can't believe this is drugstore. So I was really like pairing these a lot and this is good guys so definitely worth trying if you're looking for a new concealer. I re-upped on my Laura Mercier powder so I've been super addicted to this powder and I have been using it throughout the month. I love this. I was just so excited to get another one because I had recently emptied like my translucent and I have the honey shade and I was determined to kind of use up honey before purchasing another translucent but didn't do that. I decided to go ahead and purchase it again and I love this powder so I've been using that one a lot I also really love this Givenchy powder and I'm beginning to wonder this is gonna shock you guys but I'm beginning to wonder if I like this powder more than I like Laura Mercier I don't know what it is about this powder I'm gonna have to do more research on it to see what it is about this like what's in the formula but this powder just gives you such a smooth appearance like it smooths the skin very well and it's long lasting. This one was limited edition packaging and this was like, I think 001. It was like the more translucent shade. It, it comes in like these different colors. It looks like blue and green, but it's like translucent when you apply it and it comes in a lot of different shades. So if you have deeper skin, there are other shades besides this one, but this is, a beautiful powder and I will re up on it I am like getting down to the very end so that's how I know I like it like powders are kind of hard to tell like you like it and you don't know why you like it so much but you can tell if you really love a powder if you keep reaching for it and I reach for this a lot and I think that like when I went back to Laura Mercier while I love it there were times I looked at my face and thought is Laura as pretty as this Givenchy? And I'm not sure. Maybe I'll test that, you know, one day. But I might like this more than Laura Mercier, but this is the powder that I reach for whenever I'm home. You guys know I live in two different places. If you're new here, you don't know that. But I live in two different homes. Whenever I'm home home, I use this. Another powder that I want to mention is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number two and it looks light because of my lights but if you kind of you can see that it's not that light and this shade works better for me as far as like looking more translucent on my skin when i use shade three i have that one as well and i've hit pan on it but it kind of deepens my skin too much like it makes me look darker but this one looks more translucent on me it just really kind of gives you that very um smooth appearance it just definitely is a smoothing uh, powder and I really like just putting a light amount of this and I will use this along with a translucent powder um, I may apply this first and then go back over it with the translucent powder but it just really smooths the skin and is a beautiful powder. It's just great. And it's a very light powder. If you're not a fan of powder, this is the powder for you. So if you have more dry skin, this is the one to get. If you have more of an oily T-zone like me, then I like to double up. I use it for that smooth effect, but I still apply my translucent powder. But this has been something I've been reaching for a lot and it is beautiful. The two blushes that I've been reaching for the most have been my MAC blushes this is Flua power and it is a pink blush 
it's kind of a rosy color actually it's sort of like my elf I'm wearing the elf blush today it's a little more pink than the always rosy by elf but whenever I want like a more pink cheek then I will grab this one and Mac makes the best blushes ever especially their matte blushes they're just gorgeous and I swear by them they last all day they don't wear off love them and then I also have been loving raisin and I don't have that on either but like I love to use raisin kind of back here and I'll deepen this area and then I may go back over it with the Fleur Power a lot of times I will wear these together and I know I'm gonna probably be reaching for this a lot in the fall but it's so earthy and beautiful this is just an earthy gorgeous shade and if you have deeper skin even deeper than me this is a perfect blush shade for women of color and this one shows up really well on my skin as well so I've been reaching for these two MAC blushes quite a bit in the month of August okay, I don't want to repeat some of my same bronzers Charlotte Tilbury Gucci butter bronzer those are the ones I reach for a lot but I also reach for my cover effects bronzer I've talked about this before haven't talked about it recently and it was on sale recently at Ulta for the 21 days of beauty this is a bronzer that you should get your hands on if you've never had this bronzer the only thing about this is the packaging is ugly and disgusting <laughs> and it's hard to keep it clean but I fell in love with this bronzer from the moment I used it. I actually filmed a review on this bronzer. Today I'm wearing butter bronzer. Remember I did an affordable makeup look, but this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. This is suntan bronze, it's the deeper shade, and this is the matte side and this is the shimmer side. And one of the reasons I wanted to mention it is when I filmed that video, I swatched this side and I said, wow, you could use that as eyeshadow, but I never did. And recently I started applying this in the crease of my eye, like a lot of people use bronzer that way. And then I put this all over my lid. It creates a beautiful everyday eyeshadow look. If you're in a hurry and you go with the bronzer and then put this on the lid, it is gorgeous. You know, it is to be used on the face but it looks great on the eye. When I'm here, this is oftentimes the bronzer that I reach for. It is one that I actually probably should have re-upped on it, but I have so much of it left and I have so many bronzers that I didn't, but I would be very sad if this bronzer were to disappear <laughs> from the market. It is that good. The powder is soft and it blends beautifully on the skin and it's a beautiful shade. I'm sorry, let me swatch this side too so that you guys can see I'm not sure if you can see how deep that is on my hand but it is a beautiful shade on my skin it's gorgeous and you can go back and check that video out if you'd like to see how it looks on me but it is like one of my all-time favorite bronzers so let's talk a little bit about highlighter these are repeats the Hollywood superstar glow highlighter it is amazing to me that when I first purchased this I just liked it okay but now I love this highlighter this highlighter is just this beautiful color it is quite unique in a lot of ways I don't have this shade I mean I have a lot of shades that look similar but it's a very unique shade but what is great about this is it blurs your skin so when you apply this it blurs the skin underneath and it is stunning it is limited edition I hope that like this one lasts me a long time because this is just one to have I love this highlighter when you first use this you may think but if you got to use it just right like if you bring it down over your cheek area it just sort of blurs your pores and it's just stunning this is beautiful and I reach for it all the time my other like super favorite highlighter is this one by bare minerals this one brings me joy when I apply it whenever I go back to this one and I apply it on my skin I always get tickled like I go oh. I have a reaction whenever I apply this highlighter it's just so stunning on the skin so it's much brighter than this one 
this is definitely beautiful on deeper skin this is a little more bright and this is the shade free these two highlighters are the highlighters i have been reaching for in august i keep this in the box because i don't want to lose it one of my pat mcgrath lip liners has disappeared so i don't want to lose this one this is deep dive and it's actually very similar to the one that i have on today this one is the nyx lip liner in brown let's see how close they are because i do think so this is the nyx i kind of felt like they were very similar and this is deep dive wow mm -hmm. yeah deep dive is a little more red but very similar in shade yeah so i also have been using that quite a bit in the month of august the only lips that i really want to mention are these by mark jacobs they are you know being discontinued and i purchased a bunch of them and i think my favorite is infamous i also have vinyl dream i like the more subdued shades and this one is also sugar and spice but i'll just you know swatch infamous it's sort of a pink shade it's really pretty for every day and when you put this on with like a gloss and liner it's just really a gorgeous shade but these are quite wearable not too creamy definitely not matte it's a more of a cream lipstick but wear beautifully just give you a beautiful lip not what i'm wearing today but i have loved these so if you have not had a chance to check out the mark jacobs website so that you can pick up a few items for their discontinued <laughs> be sure to click the link down below and check those out but i've been loving those lipsticks sorry skipped over eyeshadow how could i do that you guys know i filmed a review of the or like a demo of the utopian dream palette and i have been using it ever since and it is definitely a winner i have gotten compliments like when i have worn this palette i get compliments on the eyeshadow looks that i create it stands out it stands out to people and they will comment on it like this kind of trichrome shade here when i first wore this shade i couldn't really tell on my eye but now i can so like you really when you wear this shade you almost need to wear it by itself on the lid if you really want to be able to see that that kind of shift so that's really pretty and all of these um astral shades are also gorgeous and i dip into these more you know everyday shades all the time it's just a beautiful palette and thoroughly have been enjoying it thoroughly have been enjoying it the only other eyeshadow palette that i want to mention i purchased around the same time or maybe right before or after this is venus in fleurs voyeuristic vixen basically it's a quad this is amazing i have so much fun with this eyeshadow palette this is stunning on the eye oh my goodness it is beautiful this is super stunning and it creates everyday eyeshadow looks that wow like the color story is quite everyday but it gives you these stunning eyeshadow looks that are just beautiful because it's a quad you don't have to really think about it you still can create quite versatile looks but it is just gorgeous and i actually looked more forward to using this than i did my utopian dream palette like whenever i said oh i'm gonna use this today i got really excited because <laughs> it just creates beautiful looks so this is so worth it and the last makeup product that i want to mention is the milani make it last setting spray i have been using this quite a bit in august and my makeup has been lasting and lasting to the point where i'm like what setting spray did i use today like i'm trying to remember and it was this one so this is really great setting spray and it is going to cause your makeup to last and last and last two more lip products two more lip products bare minerals i think this is sincerity i will link it down below but this was like a um gift like a point perks that i got and i may actually have to purchase this gloss it's like a lip gloss but it's quite opaque but it is beautiful for fall and i got this as maybe like i said a point perks gorgeous 
so so beautiful and have been loving this so i may have to buy the larger size of that one also i have been wearing this um laura mercier lip this shade of the laura mercier lipstick is called bayesian time i don't know if you guys can see that swatch but it is sort of like a mauve color but it is a very beautiful everyday shade so i've been grabbing this quite a bit just as my everyday color it looks like many other everyday colors that i wear but it's very comfortable on the lips and it looks really kind of nude on me and it's just a really pretty everyday shade so that's also been very lovely. I just wanted to mention my dossier fragrances again. I recently got a couple of new fragrances and one is Oriental Vetiver. I will pop information here on the screen. I can't even remember the inspiration for this fragrance, but I love this one. It is like a powdery, clean, fresh fragrance and it smells so good for every day i love this ambery saffron is the one that smells like my baccarat rouge 540 which i'm going to talk about too as well and i like to use this sometimes i really like the original fragrance the most it lasts longer but this smells so much like it this is again by dossier it's a dupe of the baccarat rouge 540 fragrance and it is very very good so if you don't want to pay the 300 dollars for that fragrance then this is a wonderful alternative and all of the fragrances that i have tried from dossier have been beautiful they smell just like the original fragrance and they are lovely fragrances I also want to mention when i travel i keep it in the box my final product is my baccarat rouge 540 and i have used about like this much here i'm keeping an eye on it it is lasting quite a bit given the amount that i wear this because i wear this weekly at some point during the week i love this fragrance and one of my colleagues always smells this like when he walks into my space he always smells this fragrance and he's like oh my gosh what is that smell oh then he remembers that it is my perfume but it smells so nice it smells so nice to him and there are other people that have also um recognized this or they smell it on me when i wear it as well so whenever i wear this people smell this fragrance and it just it just fills the room it fills the room it is worth the hype it is a beautiful fragrance i will pop the notes somewhere on the screen but the packaging is stunning i love this fragrance and i just wanted to tell you guys about it one more time i will link it down below but again i like to give you this option if this is like too much you don't want to really pay this for this fragrance you can also purchase it from dossier and it smells very similar just like it it doesn't last on the skin quite as much as this one but it does smell just like the baccarat rouge 540 so it is an option if you're looking for a more affordable alternative so that concludes my monthly favorites i'd love to know what you've been loving during the month of august if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will respond and if you've not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave so I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.